So hey guys, welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Super Notice. You're looking at this map, you might already know what the game is. You probably do. It's Final Fight. This is the uh, Super Nintendo version of Final Fight, released in 1990, I believe the Super Nintendo version was released. Um, and... Well... Originally the idea of this was going to be that it would be a sequel to Street Fighter, but they changed that and they decided to uh, make it a beat-em-up. Because, you know, Double Dragon was quite successful. And this was a popular series in, in itself, wasn't it? So, final fight. Hagar's daughter has been kidnapped. And we're, there, we're going out to rescue her. Yeah. Old Mike Hagger. The mayor, isn't he? We're going to play as him. Because he's saving his daughter. And we're starting the slums. Let's do this. We're starting this with infinite health and infinite lives. He's a bit slow, old pagger. It's fine. There we go. Next. Just a classic beat em up, really, isn't it? That character looks a lot like the character from uh, Streets of Rage, doesn't it? The signal characters. Final Fight, always a popular game. Movement wise, it's probably a bit less uh, fluid as some later uh, beat em ups or things like Streets of Rage, for example. It just always felt like it moved just smoothly, you know? Um, where Final Fight, I always felt looked a bit. I don't know. dodgy at times. Not to say that it was a bad game, because it wasn't. One of many beat em ups at the time that were very good. And obviously, the series has spawned a variety of sequels. There is also Final Fight. Um, well, it's Final Fight, Final Fight Guy, which changes one of the two characters. Regular old final fight. Oh. Oh, Wong Hu is the name of that guy. And he is easy to defeat just like the rest of them. Especially when you plan for the health. Hollywood? Is that Hulk Hogan? Is there Hulk Hogan in here? Gotta flatten him quick. We're still in the slums. I don't need to meet, but we'll have it anyway. Who's that Sid? It's a bit uh, Sex Pistols esque. I would assume that's exactly what he's based on. Slash. Goes around. Slash is here. Popular band. Oh, look, it's Thrasher, not the uh, not the heavy metal wrestler from WWF years ago. What was he whistling for? He's whistling for Sid and Simon. There's only one of them, though. There's not more than one Simon, so why are you calling them Simons? There's Jake. Jake the Snake Roberts, is it? Yeah. And then Thrasher. Thrasher. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna whistle for his buddies again. Yeah. Oh, it's the devil. Is that Hollywood again? Yeah. Elgado. You know, there's two, like, high level, yeah. or high health yeah. characters anyway. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can just go away, Thrasher. He's done. What's next? We've 
cleared the slums. Move to the subway, I think. Yeah, into the subway park area. There's a train. She just slowed everything down. Didn't even get a chance to use my knife. I lost. I didn't even, when I finally got to use the knife, it was absolutely no use. Another Elgato. Elgato, Elgato. Go on. Next. That's Billy. It's that Billy Idol with green hair. Rebel yell, he went, Ugh. Yeah. It's Andre the Giant, but Andori yeah. Jr. Because he's not tall enough to be the actual Andre, he has to be Andre Jr. Yeah. But he has a nasty little punch, and he does a little butt bounce that actually does annoy me. <laughs> Come on. Drop kick time. We got him down. He didn't just brush us off. There we go. Doug and Brad. That's their names, I'm just telling you. Doug kind of makes sense if it wasn't like when you dug a hole. 2P. Character there for 2P and J, so 2P. It's about as much as their fighting style is worth. Come on! There we go. It's Hollywood. Just beating them all down. Billy and another Andre. That is an Andre himself, it's not it's Andore. Hollywood again. Yeah. He His name's Hollywood, but it looks like he's dressed like a like someone from a very old western. Oh, we're getting a pile driver or something. Got it wrong, Andre. A punch in the face. Well, that can help me. Well, that helped. That definitely helped me. Who's next? Three guys just crouching around. Why don't they sit in the seats? I'm getting pretty bad with me here. Simon's bread dug all together at last. Sorry, you coming in. Anyone else come in? Take that. Take that. Sword. Damn that guy. What can I tell you? He's dangerous. Well, that helps me. Hitting both buttons at once gives me a nice little spinning attack. It's actually quite good against these characters. And it definitely helps. You know, the jump and attack button at the same time to do that spinning attack definitely helps. There we go, Andre is still there. Well then. I'll let him come now, shall I? 
a bit of a weapon to defend myself with it against me anyway, so... Just like, barely bounced me. One more hit ought to do it. There we go. Next. Stop this runaway train! Wait for it to stop its own accord. Here we go. Jake again. 2P. Oh, big pile driver, that's what we want. Got him. Got old Billy down. Move it on. So yeah, our attacks are slow as uh, this old Hagger, but... Old Mike. It's easy enough to defeat. Easy enough to defeat. We're in a boxing ring, or a wrestling ring. Fighting this samurai guy. Look, this is a boxing match, alright? Some sort of death match, is that what it is? What? I don't even get a chance to use the sword. It just knocks it flying out of my hand instantly. Seems like there's no way to deal with that easily. There we go, we've got him. Masamune. Good switching swords. Half a sword now. Not oh, that time. You've got him really quick with him because as soon as you have his sword, he will rush you forward. That is difficult to defeat. His name's Katana, the sword's called Masamune. And he's done. That crowd's just a, a mass of humanity. We're on the west side now, because that's the best side, apparently. I gotta beat up a car first. Fair play. Go! So you can see that there's some, uh, some tie-in to Street Fighter. With that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be quick enough. Seem able to do anything more. Is that the car destroyed? Time over. I think we did it. As best we could. Now we're on the west side. So let's get through it. Oh, I could do a meal. A succulent meal. Just the same enemies again. No silent bomb this time. She just as well because we'd probably be completely destroyed if we if we had him in the game. Jake's had time to grow himself a beard. Good. These guys, right, these these guys are quite annoying. Well, that, that sort of spinning attack does act as kind of an interrupt for any grabs and things that they put on us. Get rid of that one. Lost. Take that. Take that. Time for them. Keep going. Smash the door. It's my town. I can smash your door if I want to. He wants his knife back. Have 
have it right down his throat. There was somebody off the screen that I obviously hit. It's him. There we go. Take them both down. Come on. Come on. Oh, headbutt by G. Orver. It's called Slash, but he hits me with his hands, so I would have thought he could have had a knife. That would have been. That would have made some sense, right? You call him Slash, he has a knife. Because he slashes people. Got them. There we go. We got him. I thought I couldn't reach. I thought I was too close to him there. Down. And down. We did it. Moving on. Okay, we got these U Andre, G Andre. Is that you, Andre? Oh, he's got my face. He grabbed my face. I jumped back from stairs and didn't mean to, but I didn't really. Just take one of them down so that. See, the only problem is sometimes with these weapons, as soon as you drop it, you won't get it back again. Really, I need one of these guys to be down so that I don't have to. They're quite annoying, it has to be said. Pile driver, more like a two stone. Which is a kind of pile driver, though, to be fair. So. And again, not much you can do. See, once you've been grabbed at that stage, you're kind of screwed. Now, that's one down. That should make it a little bit easier. His attacks are almost instant, as soon as he... There's no... not much of a delay between you, between him falling and him attacking, it seems like. If I keep doing this, we still get caught, you see? I thought, oh, if I keep doing this, I'll be fine! No such luck. He's got a lot of health. And that attack's just annoying. <laughs> He's almost unblockable at times. Really, that drop kick definitely hit him. That definitely should have hit him. How is he still alive? He had like. He must have had like one health. Oh, here we go again. Another door to smash down. Who are we facing here? I thought you could get me there, did you see that? Wong Hu thought you could get me there, but he not. Tell me I can go, but. Fall of a millimeter across the screen. Goes again and he's dead. What's that guy's name? Bill Bull. Yeah, well. Bill Bull Baggins. There's no match for me. I think he must have used his ring to disappear. Maybe he disappeared at his own ring. Take that. Two P. Not two P. That is the question. I guess it's not two P because two P is dead. That person just jumped right into my hands. Honestly, that that person did seem to just jump right into where I was standing. Go away. 
Billy's a bit tougher than the others. Like I said, Billy was always a bit tougher than his friends. Oh look, it's a, it's a guy, it's Eddie E. A, um, is this a village people police officer? I don't really know. Help me with this club though. This boss is actually quite easy to hit. Like yeah, he has some nasty attacks with his wee billy club, but otherwise... Function, shall we say. Oh, he's got a gun too. Well, I, didn't, I didn't agree to fight a guy with a gun. He runs away. Go away, Oliver. Oh, really? Yeah, go run ahead. He's almost dead, but... Got him. Got him. Go back and join the village people, mate. Here it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Just he looks like one of them as well. Deeper meaning to that, I'm a... Axel? Wait, Axel and Slash were uh, for Guns N' Roses in 90. I suppose, yeah. Slash was very popular throughout that period as well, wasn't he? Doug. Brad and Doug. Jake. An aggro. This dog. Yapping away. Wait, I, he had his back turned to me. Somehow. There's another one in the room. That's Bill Boom. I think we got one of them down. There's reverse jump sort of thing. Come on, I've got two of these guys. Three of them. They seem to be frozen in time there. Headbutt. You got me with a headbutt. Come on. There we go. Next. Move on. Oh, no, these guys. It's most annoying because they have so much health. And there's two of them. He lost a bit of health from jumping out of there, but... Wait, I thought I'd hit this one. Got both of them there. This health goes down so slowly. Got him. You just drop kick the edge of the screen and that seems to stop him quite well. Is that peas? Garden peas. Ah, I could jump it. Thought I could jump it, I was wrong. Is that a radio? Yeah, but <laughs> Is that a radio on the ground? Okay. Now he's doing flips, look. Got him. There's two of them. Three of them. 
the same enemy all the time. And... There's not a lot of variety, is there? I mean, you don't get like new enemies other than the bosses arrive at each stage. Got the ball. Got them both from that one. It's almost done. There he goes. There's a dog still there. Little dog. Happy on the pier. Oh, is this is going to be some kind of new stories about the mayor beating people up in toilets. Nice drop kick. Good form. Next. These guys are quite annoying. And then another one appears. Got them. I've got a couple of them anyway. How many of them have defeat with that? Just the one. I just J to deal with. Come on. He's down. Let's move on. I need to find one that's not occupied. Is that a hat? Do I need a hat? I forgot to go in the video at some point. Dog again. There we go. Down. That's it. Take Simon's out. Take Simon's out. So there's, if there's multiple, like if there was more than one Simons, does that mean that there would be Simonses? That's something uh, Gollum would say. Simonses. Maybe. There was a, there was actually a ring as one of the uh, pickups earlier, wasn't there? I'm sure that we got a ring out of one of the uh, containers. Maybe that's the one ring. What are these guys? Oh, I got, just got turned into a yoga flame. I did. I'm not kidding. So those guys appear and reappear appear and disappear after throwing a few bombs. Well, Molotovs, really. Go on. Slash no more. Turn into a flame again. Are we anywhere near the boss? Because this is turning my mind now. Oh, rude. He ducked. Did you see that? He ducked the throw. Or well, maybe he was just too close. I'm sure he ducked. It's very slow this game, it has to be said, it's very slow. Very slow. 
compared to some things. Are these guys never ending? What's the situation here? There's too many of them now. There's another one over there. Well, that's a knife on the ground. How many are left now? Just one? Any chance he could go away? Right, moving on. Look at how many knives there are just lying off the edge of the screen. You see that slowdown? Oh, hi. <laughs> there we go. That guy behind us. Why that wasn't working? Okay. Saw him coming and just couldn't do anything about it for that moment. Why do they have? such long reach. I feel like I probably would have got on better by not choosing this character as well, to be fair. He's the iconic character, isn't he? And it is the first game, so later games uh, had maybe a bit more going for them. Once it was fully a series in its own right. You know, after it was initially intended to be something completely different. someone's name. That's not someone's name. Oh, it's so tiring doing the same move again and again. That's all you really do. It's a Statue of Liberty, so we're in New York, are we? Abigail! That's who he is. I saw you try that. Look how many health bars he has. He has a girl's name, but... Probably a translation based reason for that, I'm guessing. Got me! All he does is just throws you away. He just goes, here you go. Go away from me. I had a grab on him there for a moment. This fight is quite annoying. That did not connect at all. And I can be caught anywhere by these throws. I didn't get thrown very far there. So even if you have the punches going in first, you'll still get hit. attack that I used there. Is his health not going down at all? Oh no, it is. Gradually. Gradually. The trouble is that those attacks don't do a lot of damage. And I can only maybe get one attack in at a time. 
because he hides at the edge of the screen. I ran out of time. Thankfully. I thought I had infinite time, but the time look, the timer is at 99. But apparently it ran out. The timer just seems to do what it wants. Every time I get hit, it goes down. I run. Is there any chance I can defeat him? This is the toughest boss so far, I think. Every time! That's just annoying me now. It seems like there's just no way to counter it at all. Like, at all. Now at last we've gone down to his actual normal health bar. Ugh. And he immediately does that to me. That helps. Just a sec. One sec, guys. Okay guys, that's the B area done, we're in the last area, I believe. So let's get this done, break the glass in the bonus stage first. Not that it's particularly difficult. The only place, the only trouble is finding out what the right location is. Sometimes, it seems like. Well, we should get through somewhere, I think. That's it, time up. Moving on to the final stage, I believe. Uptown! So who have we got to fight now? Thing by a fish bash polish there. Just everybody got hit. Smash, smash, smash was the combination there. there. I just find there's no excitement to it, you know? The music's kind of nondescript and just a bit slow. Which takes away any excitement that there might have been. That guy's frozen. Both of those guys were frozen against the wall. Nothing. You throw a knife at the guy, you'd be better punching him. 
Which, you know, is a bit ridiculous. Really. There's another one of them. Is there three of them? Or is it just two? So you can hit me even when I'm not in this direct line of attack. Whoa. I got up just in time to stop that attack. Just do this. A couple of times, but then eventually he will turn on you. fight people in a lift, because, you know, they usually do. Nope. We're at the top of a building though, so obviously this is as reaching where the boss fight's gonna be. Stage, even though there's an enemy from the beginning of the stage following me. Just keep moving. There we go, done. Next. Those guys are like the most annoying character in the game and they seem to reoccur far too often for my life. I mean, these are boss level characters, if you ask me. Not as big as the boss characters. They should be really. Got him. Oh, that's just annoying. There's that stupid jumping bomb attack that gets me every time. guy on the game and he runs off the screen every single time. He runs away like a coward. Oh, come on. Oh, we've got two of them now, so we've got 4P on the screen. There we go. Move on. Next part of the screen. Oh, 
course, the memories, stupid guys, the blood and fire. Axel. Another one, Luke. Trying to take all the royalties for wearing leather jackets in Final Fight. He is. Here we go. Oh, can we go up the corridor? Uh, let's see what was up there. Got another chandelier coming up that's gonna fall. One of them's dead, but not the other one. Apparently we hit him with our elbow on the way past. I knew he was still there. Not anymore. The chandelier fell, but it's fine. The knife does nothing, I don't even know why I bothered to take it. It really is useless. There's three of them now, six P on the screen. I think you get the I think we get the picture, right? This guy, oh great, but, uh, hey why not put three guys that are really annoying on the screen at once, that's a good idea. Okay, okay. Please get to the end of this, I just want out now. Kill both of those cans. Lost. So you'd think I'm picking up a sword, it's good. But it's doing enough damage to really to really be that useful. And the sword probably does better damage than some of the weapons, but and I've lost it. It's gone. Got a few oil cans coming at me. I don't know who rolled them. I hate these guys. I hate them all. See that? He runs off the screen, even when I'm on the ground and unable to fight by God. Make sure you always put two of them together. tell the frequency of these characters. How many times have I had to fight these, this exact combination of guys before? So no variety, that's the biggest problem with an early beat em up. No variety in the enemies at all. They will get a punch on you regardless of what you do. They're quite cheap, you know, and that's the biggest problem. Some of the some of the guys are quite, their attacks are quite cheap. Come on. Okay, we got the big guy out of the way. Out of this game at this point, but oh, we have to finish it if, it if the game 
game allows us to. With the cheats. That's what we have to do. So, yeah, I mean, I think at this stage we can tell that these have helped quite a bit, particularly because the attacks that you would have to deal with are quite annoying, really. And then it tells you you can move forward when you've not even beaten the enemies yet. Really? Yeah, I don't like this game. In case you hadn't guessed, I'm not a big fan of Final Fight compared to some other beat em ups. The run's just a lot better than this, than this, really. A lot smoother. Obviously, a bit later on in those kinds of games. There's just no... There's no flow to it really, is there, that, that helps. Go. Nice. Now you got two bloody people flipping around. It's not too much good, but those things are weak. Yeah, make sure you get loads of them in here before I get in the lift. Make sure there's loads of them here while I'm trying to get in the elevator, because that's what I want. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. Repeatedly until they go away. All three of them down. Really? Why? Why do we need to have another wave of them just to be annoying? All I have to do is stand there and do that. And they go down pretty quick. So maybe I'll just do that from now on. Get them off the screen and just whip the edge of the screen. We finally get out of here. Please tell me this is the final boss. I not it yet. How many more Andre the Giant wannabes are we going to have to fight? I don't know who the most annoying enemy is in this game, to be fair. It might be Simon, who seems to be able to hit you from halfway across the screen. Well, halfway across the screen, but that's not fair. But the collision with his hits seems to be... Seems to allow him a lot of leniency. Off a skyscraper, it has to be the end, right? I mean, it has to be. And there it is. Big one of the old the giant. There's the other one. Right on the schedule. Doing that, they have trouble getting me. Well, that's definitely wiped their health down pretty quickly, I think. They've obviously got both of them right there. But even more protection from the screen. 
Resorting to these really quite cheap tactics to win this, right? And then their tactics are pretty cheap too, so I don't really see a problem with it. Ouch. There we go. Move on. Next. Oh, the carpet. Another one. The other, on the other side of the screen, there's probably another one of them. Yeah, there is. There's two of them there, I think. Why can't I just... Why can't you just do it every time rather than one of them's down? The other one is not. He's going to his, his butt bounce again. One of them's down. Two of them's down. Do the old pile driver jump. Belger. There he is, look. He's shooting a crossbow at me from his from his wheelchair. Oh, he's not got his chair anymore. That is a bit annoying. Really. It's really annoying to get to. Mates, he's shooting his buddies too. He's not getting on very well, is he? He's quite annoying, actually. I've managed to take him down. Can I just throw him out the window? driver thing really works. It really does. That's it, that's it, that's it. Do it, do it, do it. He's never gonna get up again. Now he's done. Soon, didn't I? As soon as he starts shooting his arrows, we're almost completely buggered. His arrows just, just get right in the way. It's almost done now. Out the window you go, pal. Round five clear, and I think we finished. At last. Almost. There he goes, Luke. There goes the big bad guy. And we've saved Jessica. He saved his, sis his sister. He saved his daughter. And he's so glad to see they didn't hurt her. He's so sorry as well. I thought I'd lost you. Like I lost your mother. Oh, in the supermarket. Did she just go down one aisle and you went down the other and... I don't know where she was. They did it. He did it. He saved her. 
and the game's over. So I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, Final Fight more than I enjoyed playing it, at least. <laughs> uh, the cheats definitely worked and made it probably a bit easier, really, uh, to get through the game rather than dealing with a lot of those cheap attacks. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.